our family are like Pentecost. People are seated, 95% of you who are seated here. You pray, you are sleeping on the bed. And you are praying, Father, I thank you for this wonderful morning. You become familiar to God. Never be familiar. If you want to reach very far, never be familiar with God. You are standing, Father, as we are kneeling down before you. Look at this. Never be get familiar with God. If you say you are ending prayer and fasting for two days, if God has spoken, finish the prayer and fasting. Don't change, changing, changing. Some of you, as we are talking this morning, you were on the bed like this. I said, Oh Lord. I woke up this morning. I'm going to church. Father, I stand in your presence. In June, June is coming. Where you are in the day? Before you know it, you are sleeping. And not even dreaming good dreams, you be, dogs they began to chase you again. Because when it's familiar, God will take the action. You cannot see it, but some of you, you are retros. I want, I will confirm you that most of people who became familiar with the servant of God or God in the Bible, they had lepros. Miriam, she was the first person to have lepros. So never be familiar with this man of God or woman of God. This is what I'm teaching you. It's the message that will help you. It's those, it doesn't mean that your pastor cannot pray for you. But the problem, you became too familiar to the anointing. And the grace that you cannot honor, it cannot work for you. Some of you have been surprised. When you came to grasp power to the nation, miracles were taking place in your life. But after some years, two years, no miracle. What has caused that? Ask your what has caused that? God has not departed. But the problem you became familiar. Because you only pray in time. When you pray in times, even your shoulders, you began to lift yourself. And even more so, I'm Shandavala in times. <laughs> so there's no problem. People who are familiar never go anywhere. Some of you, you know very well that before where you are now, God at the beginning of your life, he did something great. And then you saw and you perceived that this was God. Some of you, the life you are now is a testimony. The way to be where you are is a testimony. But God did something. But because of familiarity, now you stop considering this of your God. You put aside your God. You say, no, 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 I think it's my own power. Because I went to school. Because I'm educated, because I was born in the family where there's, there's things which is happening, where there's finances. But why God lifted you? You, you, you have to abandon Him. Why? What happens is familiarity. When you become familiar with God, even when God is present, you begin to sin against Him. That's what your God talking is familiarity. You don't have any, any, any more with the fear of God, you don't have fear anymore. You go to a club at any time. You go for smoking, drinking, beer at any time. You insult at any time. It means the fear of God has come out from you. And familiar now will take place in you. That even marriages, people that have lost marriages, because when they became familiar to their husband, they became familiar to their wives. Ah. Because something that you see every day, you know that it has no interest. Come. Something that you see every day, you think like it's not handsome, it's not beautiful. That's what some of you are doing in the marriage. You see this is your wife or your husband. You think like he's a useless man or useless woman. Because you have been staying for him years and years. So what you are talking is familiar. But now when you remove familiar, you began to see this man as a great man. But if you want to remove familiar, at the end, you say, no, I don't want you, man. You are not even working. Go. 
But after some time, you look the goodness. You will see the beauty of God upon this man. Again, you say, no, Vashimwana, Boesheni, Boesheni, Vashimwana. But they become familiar. Even when you pray for them, they say, ah. They began to weigh men of God. Ah, Ababa Kadiava. Ah, Abateva Kadiava. Ah, Ababa Kadi. Ah, Ababa. Badi Bapua, by nature, the fire of Uyabau. No, look at these certain men of God. Their lives was to stay in the mountain. It's not like these days you pass out the city more. You find a man of God is even eating Angel Ayo. That's not the way it was. A man of God every time. You find a richer was that the Angel Ayo. He was where? At the mountain. But some of you are the one who have made men of God. You began moving in Angel Ayo and show pride. You pass in the other lane. You find a man of God is passing the other lane. You pass at Angel Ayo. Even the man of God also is standing at Angel Ayo. Why? You have changed them. <laughs> oh my God. So if you're a man of God, every time you find him at Angi Rayo, every time, ask, what has happened to this of our man of God? Something is wrong. Because why? You become familiar. Then he doesn't have people to attend to. Then what happens? Let me just enjoy Angi Rayo. So that's what happened. When you become familiar to men of God, it means they have no work to do. When they don't have the work to do now, what will happen? They have no use now. They began just to move everywhere. You pass this side, you see a man of God. And a man of God, he doesn't have work to do. Because you are familiar. He can't pray for people who are familiar. But when you have more, your faith, that's you push the man of God to the mountain to see the face of God or to be the